Cars franchise was so successful, so we've all been anticipating this film, but what did you think of the script when you first read it? Well, <laughs> I've always wanted to do that for, <laughs> for Made in Hollywood. Here we go. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh. Well, uh, just so happens, <laughs> I was really excited to do You can't do, do it uh, without laughing. I know, because well, I, I don't believe it. That's why. I think okay. if I believed it, then it'd be a little bit different. Then I start chewing on the thing and yeah, and start talking to like one mm -hmm. of those guys. Mm -hmm. uh, they gave me these cool aviator glasses because it is the movie Planes. Yes. And uh, I'm one of the planes. I'm actually two of the planes. I'm uh, Ned and Zed uh, in the film. But the movie itself is, uh, is a lot of fun. It's uh, it's fast pace, which is really, really cool because my attention span is like right there. <laughs> and uh, it's an underdog story. It's a, it's a story that's been told before, but it, this has a, such a nice spin on it. And all the characters make it really, really fun. How does that work for you when you're in the studio if you have such a short attention span? Uh, first things first, it's at Disney Studios mm -hmm. and there's cartoon images all over the place. When you walk in there, they give you the headphones and you see a room full of people and everybody's looking at you. and. Basically, you gotta you gotta make them laugh. Your voice has to come to life. I mean, you're, you you got to give uh, a, a plain uh, personality and and make it funny. And uh, so there's a little bit of pressure right there. That'll focus you real quick. Uh, but they take really good care of you. They feed you. They treat you really nice. Disney does it right. I noticed they have a great little snack tray next to you right here. Yeah, they got a. That's not mine, by the way. That <laughs> snack tray was just randomly put there. Uh -huh. <laughs> So you do it's in his rider. He has to have snacks. <laughs> um, and see, you, it is the movie Planes, and that's yes. what we provide. You do play Ned and Zed, two kind of different characters. They're kind of like your evil little twin brothers, but what inspired both of their voices? Um, Ned and Zed are the evil henchmen for the character Rip Slinger, and uh, basically I do all the, all the uh, dirty work for them. You know, the low, budget, uh, low budget bad guys for hire. Uh, one of the voices is myself when I'm mad. So you'll hear it in the movie that I just sound like, uh, I'm just upset, and it's this. It's basically me when I miss uh, lunch and my insulin shot is late. So, uh, and the other one is <laughs> a character who's bad, but he doesn't know he's bad until you tell him. You know, he's so clueless. It's like, dude, you're bad. I'm bad, bro! Now you're good. <laughs> I'm good! You know, the sky is green. It's so green! You know, he just does whatever you tell him, which makes him a pretty uh, efficient, uh, you know, gopher. Which one did you enjoy more? I like the clueless character just because I, you know, I don't have to worry about it. Just be clueless. It's right. Fun. Being more than what you're built for is a key theme in this film. And I was wondering, on your path to pursuing a career as an actor, what has been your greatest obstacle, and how did you overcome that? For me, I've always wanted to be a uh, just a presence that's known everywhere, not just being considered a. Uh, uh, Latino entertainer uh, you know in the beginning when I was a, a you know when I first started off as a comic uh, that was always the case oh he's just a Southwest guy he can only perform here and this or that but I always you know my show was always bigger than just my ethnicity and so for me uh, getting to this point where I'm working you know with Disney and I'm playing two characters that are non Latino that is huge I mean I'm excited you know what I mean? Because I mean, uh, usually in a situation like that, you'd get pulled into the hole. Can we have somebody play the gardener character? You'd play the perfect gardener. Can we have somebody play the gang member? And that's not the case with this. This is just, you know, you're talented. We know you're talented. We need you to bring life to these characters and make something magical with them. And they gave me the chance to do that. And so for me, this is a really huge opportunity. And it says a lot. Made in Hollywood.